Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Math Time with Dhanaprasad. In this today's lecture, I will discuss about coordinate geometry, the basic concepts, basic definitions, important points and shortcuts. So all these concepts are useful for AP and TS poly set, AP RJC, TS RJC, SI constable jobs, gram sachwala in jobs. So this is also prerequisites for intermediate 1B coordinate geometry. The important points are Cartesian plane, what is point, the distance between two points and a line segment, similarly distance between two points and x axis, distance between two points and y axis and how to find the, the coordinates of a point which divides the lines, the line joining two points internally, similarly uh, externally. How to find the centroid of a triangle when three vertices of a triangle are given and how to find the area of a triangle when three vertices are given. How to find the area of a quadrilateral when four vertices are given and how to find the slope of two points. Similarly, when angle is given, how to find slope of a line. So now point number one, very, very important. The position of a point P X comma Y. We know Cartesian plane. Cartesian plane and into man tells you that how to how to find the position of a point P X comma Y or what is the meaning of the point P X comma Y. When when we see Cartesian plane, you have X axis and what Y axis with origin 0, comma 0. So here what is P? So here P is determined by the coordinates X and Y. So here for example if it is 2 and if it is 3, here X is equal to 2 represents the distance from Y axis to the point P. Because here 2 is here, 3 is here, similarly 1, 2, 3 are there. So therefore 2 represents the distance from Y axis to the point. Similarly, 3 represents the distance from x axis to the point P. So this is x value 2, this is y value 3. So therefore, the point is determined by the point represents the position on the Cartesian plane. It is 3 units distance from x axis and 2 units distance from y axis. Now the second point is the distance between two points. Whenever two points are given, and a Cartesian plane a x1 y1 b x2 y2 then the distance a b is equal to under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square similarly point number three the distance from origin to a point x1 comma y1 so here one point becomes zero means here I want So here I want the distance between R is n and what A. So the first point becomes 0 comma 0. The second point becomes what? X1 comma Y1. In this case the distance is given by simply under root X1 square plus Y1 square. So whenever one point becomes 0 the finding distance becomes very easy which is under root X1 square plus Y1 square because X2 0 and what? Y2 0. Now point number 4 the distance between any two points x1 comma 0 x2 comma 0 on x axis so this is also important formula for competitive exams so here it is x axis here we have a point x1 comma 0 here we have a point x2 comma 0 how to find the distance between two points means i want this distance this distance is given by the distance between ab is given by the difference between the distance of OB and the difference of OA means OB distance find out JLA minus OA distance in TCL. The man kochina distance is the same as Therefore, AB is given by simply x2 units, x1 units. Therefore, x2 minus x1 represents the distance between AB. Similarly, we go for y axis. Point number five the distance between any two points a 0 comma y1 b 0 comma y2 on y axis is a b is equal to mod y2 minus y1 simply so here this is y axis 
so here we have a point 0 comma y1 here we have a point 0 comma y2 the distance between 0 comma y1 and 0 comma y2 is the total distance minus this distance therefore y2 minus y1 point number six <coughs> the point p which divides the line joining a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 internally is p of x y is equal to m x2 plus n x1 by m plus n m y2 plus n1 by y m plus n so this formula is very very important here a and b are two points the point p which divides the line joining a x1 y1 and b x2 y2 is given by m x2 plus n x1 by m plus n m y2 plus n y1 by m plus n so the point can be anywhere between a and b i can take here m is to n this is what required point i can take p here i can take p here and so on so therefore in between a and p is there therefore these are the coordinates of the point p which divides internally so next one is externally means outside of a b so here this is the line so therefore here p divides the line joining a b externally means outside the uh, points a b is given by m x 2 minus n x 1 by m minus n m y 2 minus n y 1 by m minus n so internally means we have to put plus externally means we have to write minus very very important formula see the midpoint of the line joining a x1 y1 b x2 y2 is given by m is equal to x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 so here midpoint means the m the point m exactly divides a and b in the ratio 1 is to 1 2 is to 2 3 is to 3 like that therefore m divides a b in equal ratio therefore a m is equal to the distance b m now point number seven we have two bits here the centroid of the triangle formed by the vertices a x1 y1 b x2 y2 c x3 y3 means the centroid the centroid of the triangle is given by x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 this is what g so therefore the centroid formula x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 plus y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 similarly area of the triangle if this is the given how to find area of the triangle formed by the vertices a x1 y1 b x2 y2 c x3 y3 this is a very very short, simple shortcut very easy one you can easily remember this and we can find so delta is equal to 1 by 2 into here x1 minus opposite one x1 minus x2 here we have to write here x1 minus x3 x1 minus x2 x1 minus x3 first column second column low y1 minus y2 y1 minus y3 find its determinant you can easily get the answer within seconds so point number right the area of a quadrilateral formed by the vertices a x1 y1 b x2 y2 c x3 y3 d x4 y4 is given by 1 by 2 into this is called matrix determinant determinant of x1 minus x3 here x2 minus x4 y1 minus y3 y2 minus y4 how to remember this formula very easily see here if this is a quadrilateral a b c d this is x1 y1 this is x2 y2 this is x3 y3 this is x4 y4 so according to the formula first i want x1 minus x3 opposite vertices x1 minus x3 similarly x2 minus x4 this side in the first row in the first column in the second column y1 minus y3 similarly y2 minus y4 means the difference of x the difference of x coordinates opposite side similarly the difference of y coordinates what opposite side now formula number nine the slope of the line slope formula this is the slope of the line joining any two points a x1 y1 b x2 y2 is m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 very very important means the difference of y coordinates means y2 minus y1 divided by 
डिफरेंस ऑफ एक्स कॉर्डिनेट्स मीन्स एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन दिस इज द स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन जॉइनिंग टू पॉइंट्स फॉर्मुला नंबर टेन इफ थेटा इज द एंगल मेड बाई ए लाइन विथ एक्स एक्सिस देन स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन दिस इज ऑल्सो स्लो फार्मूला दिस इज वॉट सो वेन ए लाइन एल is made theta angle with what x axis then slope of the line is given by m is equal to tan theta so this is its formula so up to now we have seen the important points shortcuts and easy tricks of coordinate geometry so these tricks and shortcuts are very useful for polish set competitive exams and 10th class mathematics so if you enjoy this lecture if you understand all these basic concepts and shortcuts like it share it and subscribe our channel so in the next video we will see the ap and ts polish set 2019 and 18 coordinate geometry previous question and answers till then take care bye bye jai hind